Hello Pisces, welcome back to the Illus Luminator for your mid-month. I am a little bit late and yes, it's definitely because of all the things that are going on right now. Um, to be honest, I got a lot to say, but I am already so drained and tired of reading, hearing, talking, thinking. Um, about what is going on in the world that I just want it to be I want the message to be very clear um, first of all I just am not a fan of anyone that is trying to spread out um, you know conspiracy theories about this situation I mean that's like the lowest thing that we can do right now coming out of a fear um, so yeah, let's just be compassionate towards everyone that is working in the healthcare, um, the hospitals, the people that are uh, working day and night to stop this virus from spreading more. And I feel like we really need to listen to uh, what we are being told instead of like acting like it's coming from a place of power. Uh, I think that we all need to stay, stay safe. Uh, stay home as much as you can uh, to avoid everything that could cause this to get to you all right so yeah that's just you know main message is just stay safe as much as you can stay home as much as you can and let's just pray that this will this will resolve itself with a lot of blessings and prayers, all right? So, let's just see what we got, what we have going on. Let's see, Pisces, happy birthday for your season as well. All right, let's see, Pisces, let's see. What is going on for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising? Sun, Moon, and Rising. Wow, the Fool with the Two of Wands. So this is you coming out of a past cycle, completely refreshed, all right? Like you've, perhaps, like everything is going to be revolved around as well, what is going on in the world, but it, you know, this is, this is having trust and, and, and understanding that you can't be attached to the past anymore, the past cycles anymore. This is taking a leap of faith, uh, making progress, making decisions that you... Um, this is listening to your intuition and your intuition has been calling you to make progress and to reevaluate your decisions and take risks towards things that feel genuine to you. So your sensitive side is definitely coming up front here is what I feel like you are being very sensitive to the things that, are, that is going on around you but you also know how to distinguish that with uh, what has been going on in your past and you're ready to make a big bold step towards your future at this point um, if there has been a lot of hesitation um, in con concerning a path that you were thinking about, you have made that decision and you are definitely very confident within that. Yeah, this is the judgment. So this is this is that past that you are now reevaluating. It may have been a lot of dark dark memories or dark moments that you have gone through. Uh, but you're coming to a very clear conclusion of the past. This is a renewal. This is rising of the phoenix with the judgment card. So overcoming a lot of fears, fears of the unknown, fears of taking a risk and leap of faith towards something. And this is definitely some type of a rebirth that is coming for you, all right? Or that you may have experienced already. Yeah, you're letting go of this five of pentacles. No more feeling isolated. No more feeling left out like definitely you have the nine of wands the chakra healing and the six of pentacles they all came out in the reverse so what this is saying is that you're you're releasing a lot of boundaries not not boundaries i'm sorry your defenses all right you may have had a lot of defenses when it comes to um a certain individual in your life all right you need to however start working with more um, 
with more with with crystals is what I'm getting like cleansing out your chakras doing a lot of detox because there is still a lot of residual energy do we really have to go through construction work right now I'm so sorry guys um, but yeah you do need to have some type of cleansing out all right there is still a, 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 something that is quite unbalanced in your life all right this is the six of pentacles this, this is um, this is related to Virgo, but it could be also related to health or uh, being generous. So because of maybe in the past you have not received the um, generosity from people, you could become very defensive towards uh, certain individuals in your life and be like, well, what did you do for me? What did you give to me? When, did, when was the last time you asked me how I'm, how I'm doing? Like these types of um, triggers could be coming up to you which you do need to release all right these are definitely triggers based from um, what people have not done for you or um, to you and those types of energies could make you feel very worn out and very exhausted in your energy so that's why you need to really uh, do a deep detoxification and cleansing of your chakras all right so you could get like a clear crystal um, let's see I have here a um, what's it called gosh I forgot the words but like oh my god I cannot believe I always I don't know why but I always forget this stone and it's like the most known stone that there is and I always forget it so just imagine where my head is so this is just like a usual blackout of Sonia <laughs> so let's just go on but anyhow there are a lot of ways to clear your chakras like I said I do a lot of chakra healing and chakra cleansing with meditation so you can just find um, chakras or stones or crystals that are uh, connected to the chakras so you can just google that and see which stones are connected to your chakras and just get those stones make sure that you cleanse them and you um, you know put them through sage that you charge them up with the moon water or moon light and just do a meditation with them on your chakras it will really uplift your energy uplift your uh, vibration a lot and you will feel that there is like a cleansing of energy around you all right like when i get very drained because of the readings and i do a cl crystal clear cleansing or um, a ritual I feel like uplifted again. I'm ready to, you know, get the 24 readings done. That's what I that's what I do. So let's see what else for Pisces. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. Okay. I'm getting um, a couple of messages here. First of all, I feel like for some of you, um, there's a lot of worry or concern about about your mother is what I'm getting, all right? There might be a lot of things that uh, you're trying to keep up, which is draining a lot of your energy. Uh, you may be feeling very disappointed at taking a lot of work on yourself as well. Uh, there is a, a form or a sense that you feel very disappointed is what I'm getting. Disappointed of all the work, all right, that, that, that you are going through or that you are trying to juggle, all right? And there is also a, a, someone here in your surrounding that is going to get rejected is what I feel. And you're not really happy with telling that person no. So this could be, it, it could be a love interest, but it could also be... Um, you know a friend or someone that is asking you for your help and you're like okay I don't have you know I don't have the energy and you don't feel like saying no but perhaps your soul is saying like okay you have too much on your plate right now like um, it's okay to help people but just understand that you also need to fill your own cup at this point and need to say no to those who you know so this is a um, this is a weird message that I'm getting through because for some of you, you could be also saying no to people because 
you feel like those people have never done something to you and you feel like you don't have the energy to give right now is what I'm also getting and that comes from a place of rejection and abandonment that you're still trying to go through all right I do see that um, when it comes to a relationship there is definitely a growth in this situation there is fertility some of you may be definitely um you know um, taking it up to the next level here with this hierophant and the empress that are this is a very sacred union is what i'm seeing because the empress and the hierophant are also sometimes in connection with one another all right they have a lot of high morals high integrity uh high respect for, uh, for each other and I feel like throughout this whole um, journey that you've gone through with whomever you've been having this journey with you both are coming to an understanding that you both need to have respect for this commitment or and for each other and thus this is a very you know this is this is kind of like going through that roller coaster but coming to the fundamentals of yourself and this relationship and giving those vows and those oaths towards one another so this is a very beautiful energy that i'm seeing even though you may have some so now and then like ups and downs and feel like either rejected or feel like you're you're not really um in the mood to express your emotions all right because sometimes you know i have a lot of piscean energy in me and when i get overwhelmed as well either i i talk a lot or i shut down completely so there is always a balance between like um, you know, when are you going to express yourself and when are you going to retreat? Like, try to find that balance. I do have the Ten of Swords here, but I feel with this world card, there is definitely, you know, a major ending, major completion. And I feel like these are just mental residues uh, from the past that are still lingering on that makes you feel like you want to reject opportunities or reject. Uh, a situation or a person in your life but it has come to a completion you're not going to go through it again all right so um, yeah I do see a lot of communication coming in as well with this eight of wands uh, from someone that could be a bit confused at this point as in where they stand with you or you with them but I feel like the moment you put an end to it in your head and get over this betrayal somehow you are going to have a fast moving forward energy so there's a lot of uh, energy that is going to come into you or okay that that sounds weird there's a lot of energy that come into you okay so for some for some what is the message for pisces please Sacral chakra, okay, this is the chakra that you need to focus on. This is all about your confidence. It is definitely also related to the fool and the two wands kind of energy. This is also the sexual energy, so maybe you have some type of a blockage within expressing your sexuality or sensuality or getting intimate. So these might be um, also past triggers or past life triggers that make you not wanting to get out of your shell and rather disconnect and say no to things because uh, you don't have the energy to express yourself and express your sexuality and, and that could be in, 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 in terms of intimacy all right like being intimate emotionally as well so be careful of that this is all about balance all right so definitely your the healing of your chakra needs to be based on your sacral chakra so you might want to get information about how to do that and power wow look at that so this is a strength card so this is you needing to put out put out your strength and in order to overcome whatever this betrayal is and don't forget the strength that you have within yourself Is what I'm seeing here intuition as well so follow your intuition you know exactly what will work best for you in terms of your own healing all right and how to um, overcome this anxiety or overcome this 
part of intimacy that you are a bit afraid of is what I'm getting. You know, this is this is courage as well. So courage when it comes to becoming intimate with your partner or intimate within your feelings, all right? Because right now you want to reject anything that has emotional um, adversity. And that comes from a blocked sacral chakra and a lack of courage in in a sense. So let's see. Some of you may be moving back to your mother, all right, or moving back in with your mother or your parents and you are not really a fan of that. Like you you feel like you're gonna be, uh, become more restricted and, and have too much on your plate. That could also be one of the things. Keep going and reclaim your authenticity. So it's time for you to definitely speak up about your emotional needs and also your intimate needs. Like what, what do you need in a relationship or from your relationship partner? And it says keep going. So it is going to be a little bit tough, all right, in order to uh, let down your guard and express how you truly feel or what you need from your partner. But you need to pour out your strength and power and keep on going. And don't be afraid to tell that like it is don't be afraid to show your true colors do not hide yourself all right and do not come from a um, hurt place as in like well you didn't do that for me so I'm not going to do that for you either that's kind of like a very important message that I'm hearing so take that however that resonates with you so let's see with the moonologic moonologic card okay I cannot even talk I feel so wow a new start is coming, yeah, definitely. This is, this is, at the end of the month, there is going to be a big, big new start coming for you or it's already in motion for you. And it's going to be one with a lot of love, a lot of compassion, a lot of um, stability is what I'm seeing here, all right? A lot of fertility, a lot of... Um, And I'm also getting that some of you are definitely going through a download of a new DNA, all right? That's what I'm also getting through. Like the universe is um, pouring out a lot of healing energy over you. And for those who want to get pregnant, there is going to be a very crucial time for you and it's going to happen for you as well, is what I'm getting through as well. You got work through your fears. So there's definitely a lot of fears in releasing this past and um, you know taking this new energy onto yourself and start a new cycle here with this individual but don't let fear hold you back all right so guys i'm going to continue with the he says she says spread on vimeo and i hope this reading gave you enough energy like i said please stay safe stay home take care of each other and yeah let's pray for the world and see how this is going to evolve um my heart is really aching of all of this but we gotta do what we can do and just see it through day by day so see you guys soon thank you for your concerns i know i was a little bit sick but it was just a flu so um, that's why i just wanted to show myself as well so you know that i'm all good all right so thank you so much and bye